So good evening and welcome to our evening presentation. May I please ask if we can move forward a little so that. Yeah, I just I see the other one. Yeah, I No, no, it's not I just Okay, we are just about to commence. And uh, we have somebody to say a short prayer for us. We are chosen up. Let's pray. Okay. <clears throat> we are all in the um, health industry, professionals. We know for flexibility or geometrical flexibility, sometimes for cost, for toughness of structures, for long spans, most of the time we go in for steel structures. And currently, we have the pre engineers steel. There are so many organizations and companies who are involved in this uh, say business and then the engineering or architecture. But then we have here with us heavy building systems. The question is, why Kirby? We want to introduce Kirby building systems to you. We have representatives of them to come and tell us who they are and why should we consider them instead of the so many other organizations involved in that to help us in simplifying our building and structural elements that we have. So I'm going to ask the first speaker to give us a presentation after which we have question and answer for you. Uh, help us understand what they are presenting yeah, yeah. to us. So please. First of all, thank you everybody and good evening. On behalf of Kribi, I want to thank, uh, thank you all for coming to this presentation. And uh, my name is Sinu Krishna. I am representing Kribi Sales and Marketing in Ghana. And I have my colleagues, Mr. Patrick. I will introduce Mr. Patrick here. Uh, uh, 
Mr. Patrick, and this is uh, Mr. Charles. Mr. Charles, representing SL Construction, is our certified contractor in uh, Ghana. And Cindy, she is also doing the marketing for our ICL construction. Uh, is our certified partner in Ghana. So, thank you, everybody. And uh, we'll start the presentation now. Just for introduction, we we'll start. We Yeah. So, first of all, Kirby building system is a hundred percent subsidiary of Algani Industries. Algani Ministries, it's shattered out their business in 1890s uh, with uh, trading in shipping line. 1920, they have expanded their business, and 1930 and 1960, they have expanded their business, and we are a significant partner in uh, doing business automotive, food industries, a lot of other package foods, and other local support services. This is our uh, business sector. Industrial products, engineering, automotive, sales, retail, food, transport, logistic, consumer, trade, insurance, office, automation, advertising, and so many. Uh, this is our uh, brand portfolio. Or uh, let's come to the Kirby building systems. This, as I said, this is the hundred percent subsidiary of uh, Algani Industries. The Kirby building system is the first company to start pre-engineered steel building. In Middle East and Africa. We have started our first factory in 1976 in Kuwait. And uh, after this, 2000, we have started our second factory in India. In 2006, we have started our third factory in India, in Haridwar. And uh, 2009, we moved to UAE. We set up our fourth factory in UAE. And uh, 2009, we expanded our market in Southeast Asia. And 2023, we expanded our market to Saudi Arabia and India. And now we have uh, almost seven factories across Africa, uh, Middle East, India, and Southeast Asia, and having the capacity of 515,000 metric tons per annum. And we have completed more than 90,000 buildings across 70 countries. And this is our uh, uh, market manufacturing locations, Kuwait, UAE, Saudi Arabia, India, and Vietnam. Sales network, we have almost seven, 70 sales offices and uh, 300 builders, 35 builders we have. These are our major manufacturing facilities, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, there are some uh, uh, key achievements we have made last year, setting up our uh, own manufacturing facility in Saudi Arabia. We have uh, first company to book the <coughs> 23,000 metric ton single building order from Bahrain and Steel last year. And we have expanded our business in Africa by opening new offices in Ghana and Ivory Coast. <clears throat> Let's move to our uh, products and services, building installation and supervision. See, these are our uh, PEP applications and advantages. This time saving steel, for, steel is faster to install and then conventional and concrete buildings. Economical, Ways you see the steel building go for strength percentage cost saving against concrete buildings. And the space flexibility, larger spans for possible and interior design. And high quality and durability. Steel is less affected by weather conditions and uh, homogeneous products. Adjustable design, we can cater future expansions by doing the modification and replication of the steel structure, we can do it. Environment friendly, you can uh, recycle the steel is dust free construction. And we allow curved framing and special architectural shapes. The PEB, we do the design like that. And the steel structure provide more economical and seismic earthquake design. We'll come to this point. Uh, for the earthquake and all seismic, we, we use uh, international building. And when Kirby market segments are industrial, we do factories, workshops, warehouses, and logistics centers, oil and gas utilities, aluminium smelters, cement plants. For infrastructure, we use we, uh, our sectors are infrastructure, utilities, car parking, pedestrian bridges, power and uh, airports, seaports, aircraft hangars, 
commercial windows, shopping malls, multi level car parking, hospitals, schools, churches, accommodation, we do labor camps, low cost housing solutions, architecture, agriculture, poultry farms, and uh, park sheds and greenhouses, and our systems and practices. Careful stock planning, high strength material economy scale optimizing selected of vendors qualifications. We use our materials from some of our selected vendors from India, and uh, we buy our cold form sections from uh, Nippon, Japan, and our uh, steel uh, roof panels are come from India, from uh, uh, Tata Bruskov and other uh, market leaders. And uh, let's come to our engineering expertise. Global Center of Engineering Excellence, we have um, almost 350 design engineers and retailers. <clears throat> and uh, we have using uh, all the new softwares for as design estimation. We use Smartest, STAD, and MBS. For drafting, we use Xtil, AutoCAD, Bocard, Tecla, and MBS. And uh, for the new modeling, we use Revit, 3D automated detailing software, SAP, and process resource management system we use. So all these softwares are uh, latest softwares we use for our design, detailing, and uh, uh, other things. We have using the codes for American design codes as a standard. If customer prefer to go with other standards like uh, Euro code, British code, Egyptian code, or French, we do the building design with that old code also. And we are following this <coughs> international building code for the global seismic hazard map. We're using the global seismic hazard map to identify the locations as per the seismic zone. We design the building and uh, reactions and everything. This is the way we design the building. For every country, we have uh, the data of the seismic given by the international building code. This code we use. For designing parameters and all, you can you see that with the map is showing the uh, uh, seismic hazard map. And uh, when we we'll come to the second segment of uh, what is the advantage of PV building and uh, concrete building, so I just pass it on to Sir Patrick, so he will explain from here for the PV and concrete building advantages and disadvantages. Good evening, everyone. I let me welcome everyone again and thank you for uh, spending your evening with us. So I'll move on to the next um, segment. So I want to discuss about the advantages that still has over concrete and particularly pre engineered building. So one of the advantages is that as engineers, we know that steel, we can use steel for larger spans when we're going 20, 30, 40, even 90 meters. So we've done buildings up to 120 meters clear span without any internal support. So this, you know, you can hardly achieve with concrete. Then, so this uh, will give uh, the, the resultant effect is uh, savings in, in the entire project when you're talking about that low transfer to the foundation, you're having a lighter foundation. So this is one reason why well, we would want to uh, consider steel in your, uh, your projects, your multi-story building projects. Then the other point is um, fabrication. For pre-engineered steel buildings, they are, you know, are, it's controlled. They are controlled under, um, like shop controlled. So it, it, you know, there's a difference between pre-engineered building and our conventional steel structures. So the difference in this is that we use high strength steel plates, so which are fabricated. They, they are tailored based on the geometry and the loads. So it's not like your standard sections where you go to the markets, you know, when you are doing your design, you say, let's try 206 by this. If it's not matching, we go to the next. But in this case, we have, we design, so we determine the thickness of the plant, the weights, what is going to be the web uh, depth and all. So it is controlled. So our, our sections are tested 
so so what we are bringing out is already you know it is certified so this is one advantage but in terms of concrete concrete you know you have little control over the mix uh, so and you have to keep running a concrete batch test and all so then we have the delivery and logistics in steel we can deliver anywhere in the world for example i mean Nigeria, I'm taking care of Nigeria markets, then uh, the Republic and Togo. So we are supplying the building from the UAE. So once we have the clear requirements, we can supply to anywhere in the world. You know, with the communication and technology that we have, we can communicate our requirements and it can be delivered anywhere in the world. With concrete, we know how it is done. You have to be close to the, your concrete, uh, uh, Supply, if you're doing a large project, definitely you have to close to reduce the cost. So we still we have an advantage. Then the erection time. So because uh, these are already pre prefabricated, all the components have been designed. We what we just need to do is to bring it to the site and hold. So the time of installing the building uh, is faster compared to concrete. You don't have to wait for 21 days. Of to for the concrete to cure and set in time and all. So this is one advantage that we can take. Uh, we can, you know, take advantage. You can take and save time in our construction. So industrial applications. So easily handling. You know, steel members due to their nomenclature, it's easy to lift and install. So then quality, in terms of quality, just like I said earlier, so all our materials, starting from the design, the sourcing of the raw materials from the quality control. So with all these things have been taken care of. So quality, issue of quality is, you know, not something to really worry about. And, um, you know, we can also issue test certificates for each component, so for you to verify. So on the other hand, in concrete, we have a lot of, you know, for each, for each step, you have to carry out tests to make sure that your materials are meeting the minimum requirements. Then in terms of cost, so low, there is no manpower count needed because all you just need to do is just to install, you know, the number of people you need to lift once you have your crane on site. So the manpower required is less compared to concrete uh, construction. Then error and modification. So if there is a mistake, you know, you cannot take out mistakes in construction. I don't think in most of the cases, especially in large projects, there are chances of errors. So if, it, if, it's, if, it's, if you are using steel, it's easy to modify. It's easy to make corrections, you know? So if it's, Maybe there's additional loads, you can weld additional plates to the sections. If it's to reduce, it's easily modifiable. Unlike concrete where you have to, you have to start breaking and you know, so this is another advantage. So we have also scalability and modulability. So it's easy to expand. You know, we can easily expand an existing project in either way, both vertical direction or horizontal direction. In our design, we have several cases where maybe be it warehouses which are just spanning them, we want to increase the length. So it's easy. We can consider it during the design stage for future expansion. Going vertically also, because it's easy for steel. Once we apply the additional loads, Better, it's always better to you know, factor this at the initial stages of the design. So but we have, if we have to modify, it's easier because all you need to do is to add create additional connections and continue your buildings. And that does not take away the fact that you have to do your integrity test to the foundation and all. But what I'm trying to say here is that in steel construction, it's easy to to expand, it's easy to, to rescale the projects, whether going vertically, whether going horizontally or which way. Then consistency and reliability, just like uh, I have said earlier, 
So from our design, we are following all the building codes, all the international standards, our quality control are always in place. And we have, you know, in doc documents that you can use to test the quality assurance that are in accepted internationally. Then seismic effects. I think um, Ghana, for example, I think it's very low, there's very little seismic activity here. But that notwithstanding, still has been proven to, to have a, a stronger with, uh, withstanding effect against seismic. That's why in places like uh, you know, Asia, most parts of Asia where they experience, where they have uh, unfriendly environments like China, Japan, where they have most of their buildings, high rise buildings are done with steel. So, and what we are offering here, we are offering not just steel, but pre engineered steel, high strength steel. So, these are some of the things that are very difficult to achieve with concrete. These are things that we feel that with steel, with pre engineered steel buildings, which Kerber is offering, we can start considering this in our future projects that has to do with especially multi-story buildings. So to save time, to save costs in terms of quality, uh, and a lot of other advantages that we can, that we can. Yeah, then ductility. So we know how steel behaves. The failure, if you see the failure mode, and the also even physically, before, if there is going to be a failure, maybe there is an error in design. It's all, it, it shows you a sign, you know, most of the time, most of the time. So it can be either sway, sway that is obvious and you start taking precautions, unlike concrete that most of the times, you know, you see an immediate collapse. Then environments. So when we're talking about green building and protecting the environment, so we know that steel is 100%, almost 100% recyclable. So, and it protects, we, when we are talking about protecting the environment, our wildlife and reducing the carbon footprint. So steel is um, very friendly to the environment and I think we should take advantage of this also. So here we are just, this is part of our fabrication lines. These are some of the uh, fabrication equipments. We have short lasting machines, these aqua lift machines. So, so quality assurance, we are ISO certified, ISO uh, 9001. So 2000, these are one of our internal standard organization certification that we have for all our uh, facility, manufacturing facilities. And quality assurance is something that we take seriously as Kirby. And that is why we are able to, you know, be consistent for close to 50 years, 47 years in, of um, supplying pre engineered steel buildings uh, across the world. So we'll just show a few of our uh, multi-story uh, multi projects that we've done at various locations across the world. So this is a, a plan of a, a, a multi-story car park at Ministry of Transport Port in Oman. So this is the architectural drawing of the same, it's in 3D. So this is another one in UAE. Is yeah, I, this is uh, after the isometric gear site has been modeled. Now this is the same car park under construction, Oman. So the one I showed the isometric view. This is after it has been built. This one is in UAE. Then this is a multi-story staff housing building in Saudi Arabia. So each floor is about 800 square meters. So this is a uh, labor camp for China, railway. So this is another one. This one is a school. You can see that our projects, our pre-engineered building solutions have application in, in different 
sectors. We have motors in car parks, education, in hospitals. So this is a shopping mall. Uh, this is uh, Emma Mall in Bahrain. This is one of the largest uh, shopping malls in Bahrain. Supplied recently by Kelvin. Yeah. So this is a lab, uh, labor camp in Qatar. This is it. So this was done fully with steel and sandwich panels to reduce the uh, heat effects for the people that are living in it. So this is another labor camp by HPK contracting. That's, that's the drawing. This is the uh, our finished project. So this is another one, Miracle Hospital in Kuwait. So this is another labor camp. This one is in Africa. This is in Ethiopia. So this is another labor camp in Oman. So for like, you know, where uh, construction, where they're having massive uh, infrastructure project and you need to do some quick, um, some quick camps for the workers so that you know, your project is moving fast. You don't have to go to different locations and come back. So you can quickly do these projects with steel and maybe cover it, cover it with sandwich panels for heat insulation purposes. So this is a steel structure under construction. So the same, this is the same structure. And this is it when it is completed. So you can see how it's been constructed and nicely finished with um, some good architectural features with cladding. So this is these are some of the drawings. So before they are being built, this is how we've designed them and detailed them prior to construction. So this is the Aladdin Hospital under construction. So you can see that this was done with you know the partition with lights, block, bricks, and then the cladding over it. So this is this is it when it was completed. So I just go over quickly through some of the projects. So this is Safari Mall, Qatar. This is uh, this is in uh, College Center in Tanzania, shopping mall. So this is a twenty-story building, G plus twenty headquarters for Phoenix in India, supplied by Kirby. So you can see that uh, you can imagine doing this with concrete, even though it's done, but we can see also that it's done with steel and the, there, there is no doubt that the advantages are too numerous. So this is another one in India. This is uh, Control Health Data Center in Mumbai. It's a 12 story building done with PV and supplied by Kerbo. This is Gas Point uh, in India again, residential building, Nigeria. So this is another one in India, office building, 13 floors. So these are our commitments. So if you involve us in your projects, so we are able to give you the sales support right from the beginning of your projects. We can advise you on the Optimum base spacing, optimum color spacing. So the optimum, we can advise you on the best uh, 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 technical considerations from your building in addition to your knowledge, because we've been in business for a very long time and we know, you know what works. So and in terms of delivery, we have a project management team who have been working on similar projects and uh, we deliver our projects timely as uh, committed always in our contracts. We are assured of the highest quality of PED you can find anywhere. Kirby still remains the, the, we are the pioneers and still remain uh, the, the, the name to, to beat when it comes to engineered building in Mid Middle East and Africa and the other parts of the world. So after, we also offer after sale service. So we don't just sell, build, sell the building to you and run away. So we will we, we'll stay there with you from the beginning to the end of the project 
and we support you throughout the execution and even during the time of maintenance. So you can always reach us, reach our any of our sales or people anywhere. You can contact our head office using any of the contacts we've pro provided. And also in terms of pricing, we know that Africa is a very price sensitive market. So why, even though we are, uh, why we are assuring you of the quality, we are also considerate with the pricing. We assure you that the prices that we offer are very competitive. So this is the end of our presentation on regional steel buildings for multi-story. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your presentation. <clears throat> um, before we open the so I believe there's one more presentation that is supposed to come yeah, that's before we open the floor for the questions and answers and then comments. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Thank, Thank you for yeah. your patience. My name is Engineer Charles Akule, and I present to you ASTU Construction Limited. At ASTU, we are into high quality tanking projects. projects. <laughs> And um, we, we use P pre engineer buildings. We have a um, partnership with um, Kebby. And um, when you have the order, Kebby gives us the uh, materials and then we install them. We are proud installers of Kebby. When um, Kebby uh, senior was talking, he mentioned that we have, they have 300 installers. I'm proud to tell you that East Construction, we are one of the installers. In Ghana here, we are the installers of KB products. ASTU, we represent KB in Ghana, like, like I said, and apart from the work we do, we build factories, we build um, warehouses and projects of such nature. Apart from the warehouses, we also do residential buildings. We do roads, infrastructure. In our, um, in our construction, it's not only the roads, it's not only the buildings, it's not only the, um, the warehouses and the factories we build. We also bring a good finished flooring. We have a partner, uh, she'll come later after I finish, you have a partner. They deal with um, the flooring, so it's a partnership. It will finish our flooring for us. When we finish our, our uh, warehouses and factories, they come to finish, give us a very good finished flooring. Um, we have uh, some projects that we have done across the country. I don't want to waste much time. Let me go through the, um, the projects that we have. We have completed projects and we have the ongoing projects. Now for the completed projects, we have the blue pass. Industrial Limited, you have the tissue factory. Uh, this that, um, this tissue factory, this uh, Belapa. When you say blow blast, you have Belapa, blow blast. This uh, tissue factory at um, Tema, between Tema on Tema to Bakram, they are on the right. This is opposite. Yeah. And then this is the flooring I was talking about. This is the high we use. We use um, machines, we have the state of art equipment for the flooring. This is the JK, this is 13,000 square meters area. 
is a, is a warehouse at um, Free Zone. And then all these materials we are using to build Kevy brought them. I mean, we have partnership with Kevy, so they bring that we install. This special ice. Their warehouses, we built them. And then we have transmit, we do um these are cold store, they are cold rooms, and then their warehouses, we do them as well. And then we have Denya, Denya developers, we have the Ivy, Ivy buildings. This is a story building. Our finishing is top notch. Apart from that, um, tributes, this also uh, high, high end buildings, they are residential buildings. Denya, we have a project with Denya, which uh, is ongoing. I'll come to that. Um, this is the special gardens. This special gardens is uh, at Yarifa, and um, we are doing the we are doing the external works, the roads, the the um, covered, the, uh, the pavements, and what have you. This is UGMC, University of Ghana Medical. Uh, Medical Center. We are doing the staff, their staff housing, and then even the roads. We are we, we are into roads as well. Like I said, we are doing their roads as well. And then we have also another project. Um, the airport. We have the terminal one. We look at this picture. International standard. International standard. You look at the finishing, look at the, I mean, this airport, the, the river hall. And then we have the code, the command city, we did another one. This is Cashew Nut Factory. All the steels we have there, we install them. Yeah, we brought them from Kevin and we give quality installation. Uh, this is detergent factory. All these are completed projects. This water factory, this Ghana Water Company, these are also another clients, water, Ghana Water Company. We do their warehouses, their factory. This uh, Ocean Spring is also under factory. And then we have the ICGC and the auditorium. All these, all these uh, frames we are using from Kevin, the Harley Davidson. It's also a factory and workshop, showroom. We are doing them. This marble factory, all these are warehouses and factories. We hold these libraries. We are also uh, building for them. If you look at this, this residential, and the finishing is international standard. When you want to Want a building with high specs, high finishing, come to ASU. There's um, another client, there's also um, Ghana Attention School. It's our clients, we do all their, this their building we did for them, a run and fish feed. It's also office and canteen. Uh, it's not only that, we also do weed fish, uh, empire concrete. We did that way for them. We do real pitches. It's not only um, it's only warehouses and factories that we do. These are ongoing projects that we have. We have Bortec. Bortec is from uh, Polytank. And Bortec, the factory is opposite um CIMAF, Tema Prison. It's opposite CIMAF. And this is about 8,900 square meters. We are on the foundation level. Uh, when you go to uh, Polytank, Bortec, the old factory is Polytank, and then adjacent to it, that's where the project is. This is the developer. This, uh, this is Pavilion. The Konata is um, the Nya developer. The, the client is the Nya developers. This building is opposite. Um, Police headquarters, it's behind police headquarters. It's twin building, we've done parts. Now the second one is under construction. 
this tissue factory at Windiba. Windiba roundabouts, just not far from the roundabouts. That's tissue factory. It's a very big structure. It's about uh, 11,000 square meters area. And uh, we are the foundation stages. It's one of the, the same thing. These are the pedestals and the, the, the footing. And this tea factory, this is near um, from Tema, from Tema coming to Accra, the Way Bridge. This is near the Way Bridge. There's a, there's a company called DAM, D A M, just by it. The steel factory, we are the, this is an extension of the Shanti Steel. All these things are uh, products um, that we get from, we are in partnerships with our parents with um, Kelby. Um, they put, provide the materials and we install them. Uh, then we have the, these are our power fluids for our flooring. Um, this gives us a very good finish. We, we make sure we satisfy our clients, our client satisfaction is our concern. Uh, we add finishing to um, what we are giving to our clients. So um, our sister company that is into finishing, uh, she will come and she will, she will educate us more on the finishing. Thank you so much. Uh, and um, thank you, uh, Division of Zero. Good evening, everybody. My name is Cindy. I'm the business developer for Colertech and the Ace Concrete, the finishing company Charles mentioned. Uh, I'm here uh, today to talk a bit far from steel, it's more finishing products. Um, I'm here to present Colertech. Was not <laughs> working. Okay. So Colertech is one of uh, the most developed and up-to-date worldwide well, manufacturer yes. and distributor of decorative coatings. Uh, we are providing a complete line of paint solutions to professionals and consumers. Uh, Colertech is a brand that has a concept of a retail shop conceived as a design space that redefines the possibilities of wall and floor finishes. What we offer in Color Tech is decorative paint for walls and surfaces. And I'm uh, specifying surfaces because the paint we have is not only applied to walls, but can be applied to any other material, like to plastic, to wood, to steel, for example, to give it a new look. We have coatings for, for uh, floors, indoor and outdoor. We have a wide range of colors and textures, and we have creative designs for homes, shops, offices, and so on. <laughs> Color Tech is committed to deliver high quality standards. Uh, we are uh, always doing like rigorous testing and evaluations to make our products up to date. Uh, we have um, environmentally friendly practices. Our paint is also known as low invoke formulations, which uh, doesn't contribute in polluting uh, pollution, please. Uh, our target audience are contractors, interiors, architects, and homeowners. Uh, in our showroom, our, we are going to open uh, our showroom very soon in Jaulu, uh, and uh, it is going to be supported by the operational department, which will help you or which will help the customers uh, to choose the finishing they want. We have a tinting and mixing, color matching uh, machines in there. We can help you uh, with the color consultancy. 
uh, we can do samples, for example, when you come to choose uh, like a paint, we can do samples before you decide in what to go for. Uh, we have uh, different effects like the shimmer effect, the nano effect, tactile effect, and so. And of course, to apply this, color take only provides the paint, the product. But for you to apply it, you need um, a qualified team. And here comes Ace Concrete, which is a sister company of Ace Steel Construction which is uh, specialized in industrial flooring, like concrete flooring casting, repair, finishing, stamp concrete, polished concrete, and so. Uh, they are the only company for now who can apply uh, color tech uh, paint. Uh, we have uh, brought a team from abroad uh, to train them there. And uh, now uh, our team is, led by an expat expert who has more than 15 years uh, experience in the field. Uh, color tech products have been internationally applied in major residential, corporate, hospitality, and institutional projects. And I let you just have a look at what are the finishings that you get with the color tech products teamed with the ACE Concrete team. So these are different um, effects we have. And uh, this is, for example, one of our projects, Museum of the Future in Dubai, uh, Coca-Cola Arena in Dubai as well, Le Meridian Hotel, Saudi Egyptian Developers Sales Center. Of course, all the pictures you're seeing, the finishing is done using products by uh, ColorTech. Uh, Groe Showroom, Grapes and Dates, uh, a retail shop in Dubai as well. Uh, Almaza Bay Villa, which is a private client for a private villa. Lusail Stadium in Qatar, in which uh, FIFA, the World Cup was played. Uh, Nike store shop. And uh, I'm inviting you, if you want to know more, to visit our website, uh, join our Instagram page, uh, Color Tech Ghana, Ace Concrete, or send us an email and we can, uh, we will be glad to help you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Um, so now um, we will open the floor for the questions and comments, but I'll take the advantage to ask my first question. I want to ask Kevin, from the beginning, we said something, why Kevin? I want Kevin to come and tell us in two or three sentences, why so many other organizations with the still pre engineer structures why should we go for them? You said. Thank you. So in just a, a simple sentence, why Kirby? Kirby is the pioneer of pre-engineered building. And when it comes to originality, we started this and we have been consistent for the past 47 years, supplying over close to 100,000 buildings, over 70 countries. So with our track records, there is no doubt about our quality or our ability to deliver and our quality assurance. So I think this is, you know, we have many uh, competitors, you know, some are very, very uh, new, with little experience and, and so, but we, 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 uh, we as a company, we, what we stand for, we keep to our words straight talking. So we, we are customer centric. So we take our customers' uh, satisfaction as a priority. And this we have exemplified in thousands of projects everywhere. So I think with this, we I believe you can trust us to deliver on your projects. Thank you. Thank you. I have not released you yet. I have one more question. I had made the experience. Um, 
with one such a trained nest uh, company and was supposed to develop warehouse. Then somebody, when the costs came, the proposal came, they came, somebody hinted me, why don't you use another software to redesign and check the tonnage? Because the cost is somehow proportional to the tonnage, world market price of steel. So then I redesigned and realized that I was having less tonnage. So then we had to go back to that company and say, hey, we have the same structure, but with not pre engineers to the normal uh, UC, UB, uh, uh, still, and yet we are getting lower uh, tonnage, which means that the cost could go down before they had to take it and then optimize. My correct to say that do you sort of optimize your design such the costs will be okay. If I should redesign, I will not get lower cost than what you get. So this this is one advantage of engineering building. So if you see in your conventional um, design, usually the steel uh, strength is 250 to 75 MPA. So standards are uh, cultural sections that you see in the market. But in PEB design, we use high strength steel. This, uh, the primary members, like the columns and the rafters, are 345 MPA. Then in the secondary members, uh, we use 345 MPA of the cold form sections. And recently, we are going up to 450 MPA. So this kind of section, you cannot find it around here. So with this, what advantage it gives us is that we can span more. So we can go to base basins of almost eight meters, nine meters. So, and because these are high strengths, Steel, you cannot do that because you need to build in heavier uh, design when you're spacing, you're spacing like six meters maximum five because of the uh, materials you have in the markets, which comes in six meters length or 12 meters, you cut it. So, what in PEB we can span as much as possible. So, reducing the number of frames and using high strength materials, we are able to supply lighter weights, higher quality, and lower cost. Thank you very much. Um, so, now the floor. Any question before we move on to the those on the Zoom? We have some chats. We have some chats. We have some chats. Yes, there are some, some questions. A question on the Zoom. So you can read Okay, this question is from Engineer Michael Okai. He's asking, please, how do you control the vibrations and sway in your PEB buildings for high rise buildings? So it's yeah, simple. You know how our engineering design works. So for some visibility, so all these things are parts of the design uh, considerations, cracking, uh, sway, deflections. So apart from the structure integrity, we also consider the serviceability in our design. So we ensure that cracks and uh, you know, sway and all those uh, deflections are within the uh, minimum acceptable by the design codes. So these are factored in our design. Okay, the next question is from engineer Hudson Brill. He's asking, please can I use this steel for a one-star review then? Yes, sure, sure. So the only thing is you have to check, you know, your requirement against the cost in pieces. It has to be, apart from the aesthetics, you have to consider the cost as well. So you have to put all these uh, factors together and see what works for you. Okay. Engineer Anthony Kojo Ogusu is asking, this, can there still be used for apartments when constructing bridges? <laughs> and I think it will help a lot during 
Bridge construction, thank you. I think it's a contribution. And the next question is from engineer Dr. Kwame Boachin. He's asking, well, when would you not recommend steel construction? When would we not recommend? When would you not recommend steel construction? So which condition? <laughs> well, for us, we are in the business of steel and we always recommend <laughs> We always recommend steel. Yeah, yeah. So even at the seaside, at the seaside, we still use steel construction. If it's about corrosion, we have uh, protection to the steel that can uh, resist corrosion in environments that are toxic. Okay, the last question is from engineer Dr. Kwame Boache. He's asking, any plans to manufacture here in Ghana? Any what? Any plans? Plans? Yes, plans okay. to manufacture here in Ghana. Yeah, hopefully, maybe in the medium term, we can look because we know that some other uh, people are already doing. So we also may uh, explore that opportunity in the future, depending on the viability of the market. So that is why we need you to key into steel construction. We need you to embrace uh, what we are offering because it's beneficial and it uh, offers a huge advantage in your construction uh, project. So let me also ask my question, I'm there, Joseph. Um, how many, I hope you just mentioned that there are a few still players in the industry, right? In Ghana here. Yeah. We have some still yes, yes. players, like manufacturers, right? Yes. So why do I have to choose you over there? What is, yes, what can you offer okay. in terms of... Uh, so, so okay. you go, so you understand what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, you know, just like I said earlier, in terms of quality, we have proven, we have a proven track record. We have projects everywhere, everywhere in Ghana, everywhere in Ghana. So also we are the pioneers. So any, any, anybody you see doing what we are doing, it, 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 it's learned from us. And if the master has been in the business and still in the business, so I believe, I uh, you know, it goes, it, it has, it goes a lot to say. So we have, proven, we have a proven track record of 47 years and we are still improving. So I believe this, for this reason, we have an edge. Our manufacturing facilities, our people, our technology, and most importantly, the products that we delivered, they speak for us. Thank you. Okay. I'm Engineer Daniel Isio. With your current setup, what's your typical lead time? Okay, for a simple building, for a simple building, once we have a contract, usually we finish the drawings, the detailed drawing, we go two weeks. And within four to six weeks, six weeks we finish um, fabricating from our plants and we supply transit time is about five weeks. So installation time depending on, depends on how complex the building is. So give or take within four to six months, within four to six months, your building is already on site. And depending on the complexity, between three months, six months, the project is fully erected. So this is advantage of using steel, you know, because of speed, because everything has been you know, done, fabricated and controlled in-house. So all you just need to do is a good um, construction team like A-Steel, which we have uh, certified as our builder in Ghana. So with this, you just, you can go to sleep and rest assured that your your projects will be delivered timely and in good quality. Um, so you do both supply and erection? Yes, yes. Both we have supply and erection? Yes. Now, the, what, what um, grade of steel do you use? We use 450, 345, 345, 350. And I have a series of Okay. Um, do you also have some flooring systems, or you just have your frames? No, I think our partners is still. Uh, I think our partners will have some flooring solutions. You know, because what Kirby does, Kirby uh, designs, fabricate, and supplies the steel. Then our partners here is still 
who are into construction, they do the civil works, the flooring, the finishing, the erection, and this thing. So we have a complete uh, one-stop solution for, for the building. So we are able to we are able to to to, to do the building with partnership with our uh, uh, with AST. We are able to do the foundation, the civil works, the installation, the flooring, and finishing. Um, I, I, that, that is not answering your question. Okay. What I'm asking is whether you have a series of sections, sections that okay. can be used for okay. flooring system, you know, for composite structure. Okay. So okay. that if you do, then you will probably be able to provide some tables for designers to select. Okay. So, okay. Also, okay. Okay. See for for this uh, section size is dimensional. This is the difference between pre-engineered building and conventional design. So what we do is we we these buildings are tailor made. So depending on the loading or the span of your floors. So we have this we have steel plates in stock, high strength steel, which we cut them and fabricate them. So we don't have uh, sections in stock. So it is fabricated based on your requirements, based on your building geometry and loads. So if you're having 500 kg per square meter load for a uh, say 12 meter span floor, you know, each for each bed. So the, maybe the joist sizes are different. So we fabricate it to be suitable for your particular project. So we don't have like steel sections, different stocks. Yeah. In Ghana here, concerning our uh, maintenance culture, uh, I would like to know after the installation, you consider uh, as a firm to be doing the maintenance for a long time so that it will protect your image as a firm or as a supplier. Because in some situation, you see that uh, when you are passing and you see some sea structure, that is more deteriorated. And it will come to the term that uh, this company uh, manufactured and installed this. So are you considering, and after the installation, it's going to be a maintenance culture or a maintenance aspect from you, the company, for a period of time so that you protect your image. Thank you. So I'll say uh, one uh, maintenance culture, I think first of all, it will begin with the owner of the, uh, of the um, you know, the owner of the property. So on our part as a company, what we try to do is we try to to give uh, the, uh, the protective measures, the protection to the steel that will reduce the uh, frequency of maintenance required. So like, for example, if you are, you know, you're having a factory which is uh, having a mission that can affect this, this, uh, the steel. So we recommend the coating, you know, paint coating that will reduce the effect of those uh, emissions on the structure and also the cladding, we recommend cladding that will be suitable. Then, but then there's still need for maintenance, you know, because at, during use, there might be time when you need cleaning, you know, so to remove some, maybe some suits or chemicals that can attack the, the thing. So I think both uh, the, the owner also, uh, also has the responsibility to play, but we are willing, we, offer, we, we are always here, even after supplying and commissioning the project, we are also here and we are ready to um, offer any support. Okay, I think there's, there are some more questions here. Um, one says that if your products are not manufactured in Ghana, how is the cost more economical than concrete? Yes. So, you know, this is why you have to check vis a vis. When it comes to steel, 
if you are going for long span, if you are going for long span, so you, if you check the cost of your materials using concrete and factor the uh, using to engineer buildings, even considering the transportation and the DT, most of the cases, especially once it is a long span building, still is always more economical. But it is for large, small span buildings, definitely concrete. But these are things that we've worked out and we've seen in various places. That's why you see that uh, some big uh, manufacturing organizations who really do their homework, they prefer going for pre-engineer steel buildings because they know that they always have savings in terms of uh, cost, despite the delivery and the duty on the materials. Still, for large farm buildings, still is cheaper than concrete. Thank you, Dan. There's another question here. If you'll come to that, if for some reason a variation has to be made on site after importation of the original design structures, what will you offer since your manufacturing plant is not within the country, especially for critical projects with limited time? Yes, okay. So this we have seen, we know is in, in several projects. There are cases where we have, we know. Redesigned, supplied, and along the line, they are, they are making some changes. So what we do is we take this, we discuss with the customer, we understand his requirements, and we send it again to our design team. If it requires, if it requires an urgent solution that will not take us require us to ship material, we can get some plates. We can uh, communicate to our people what is the available materials on site and how we can work together. I'll give you one example. So we have a project in, in, in Pena Republic. So we've already um, supplied the building. During the process of installation, they, they needed uh, a mezzanine floor for their chillers. So they have a boiler. They have a chiller that is um, 15 ton, 30 tons, 15 tons each. So what we did is, so we communicated with our design team. So what we, we did, so they recommended the additional plates that we have to weld, the size of holes that we need to do. So we got all this locally. So we had to cut the rafters and we did this uh, amendment on, on, on site. So, but uh, you know, I bet you with concrete, if you have to do a modification like this, you have to start demolishing. You have to start uh, breaking down the building. So it's, it's something that is doable, it's something that we've done. We know it happens and, so this is the scalability advantage of, uh, of steel, of steel, the workability of steel. So this is one advantage that we talked about like during our presentation. Um, can you call it? I think I'm real soon. Actually, that was the question I was about to ask. But uh, you may have said this, where is your nearest plant that you do your manufacturing? Okay, our nearest plant is in UAE. So most of our projects in Africa, we are supplying from UAE, yeah. So apart from that, we have plants in Kuwait, we have in Saudi, we have three in India, and we have in Vietnam. So we have seven plants with a uh, capacity of over 500,000 tons metric capacity annually. So we are able to supply any uh, volume of uh, steel projects you are, you, you are planning to carry. Hello, my name is Kwaku Chumasi. Um, I think you mentioned building bridges as part of your the profile, but I didn't see any example of bridge design or bridge um, construction that would be your presentation. Yeah, for you know this presentation actually focused on multi-story uh, buildings. Yeah. Now talking about saving on maintenance costs. Between steel and concrete, um, uh, uh, I don't know if I'm, I'm convinced that uh, with um, steel is cheaper than concrete. Because with the steel, you are likely to do more frequent repairs or maintenance works than to the concrete. Can you come with me? Well, from our experience and the uh, most of the kind of uh, applications where we have used um, steel for construction, 
So we have little need for maintenance, very little need. So most of the time, you might need to maybe recoat the steel with the frames, the frames. Because, for example, in uh, commercial buildings like hospitals, actually we supply the frames and, you know, like the architectural finish is supplied by, you know, some other uh, vendors. But the steel work itself, so depending on the coating, for, for the frames, for example, you know, we have a uh, very basic epoxy coating that lasts for around 15 to 20 years without any need for, for the coating. You know, so if it is, if it is um, the, uh, uh, activities that are very corrosive, so you can go for galvanized uh, structures, which might not, you might not maintain the whole life of the building itself. Yeah, so, but I don't really see that that's, uh, for when we talk about applications where we have to use steel, I between concrete and this, I, I really don't I think uh, I really don't see that the maintenance factor being in favor of concrete. No questions. Do you have any on there? Um, as uh, directors, as contractors, do you have um, systems of uh, refurbishment so if there is a steel structure and uh, it has to undergo some maintenance procedures? Do you do you have any such uh, groups? Which are the new resource and for structures which you might have erected, or also for structures which might have been erected by others. Actually, for honestly, for structures erected by others, we usually don't uh, get want to get involved. But if it has to do with our structures. If there are some you know, improvements or modifications that needs to be done maybe for uh, any reason that's required by clients, we also always find a way to, yeah, to offer these services. Well, you won't touch. You wouldn't like to touch. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are providing service on uh, existing direction. Maintenance, supply. It would be advantageous to have something. You know, across yeah, I, I think I believe. I believe our our, our partners, our partners, you know, considering their own scope, actually, they would be in the position to look into you know existing projects and offer improvements. You know, because for Kirby, you know, we are. Strictly on you know on our design, fabrication, and our products, but we can offer support. Also, we can also try to improve existing processes you know, through our partners. Yeah. And, uh, I think this will be my last question. <laughs> like some other still elements. Who have systems, you know, and uh, therefore to provide tables, diamonds, for various spans and uses. So you can choose, you know, especially from your proprietary uh, enhanced uh, sections, you know, different sections and uh, sections designed for forms. You know, you have any certain like that, that way then you spread the you know the usage. Yes. Yes. Actually, we have our technical uh, handbook. If you can, I think if you can scan your the documents you have, you can see you can see uh, technical details of all all um, our structural members that we have. Listed. So it gives a detail of, for example, the economical span. 
for different kinds of frames. So like for the Pauline's, it's giving the section properties and it allows the loads, you know, if you want to handle ceilings and all that. So for every component we have, we have given the, the technical parameters we get, you know, in case of design or for your design checks in our technical brochure. You can have time to look at it. It's quite voluminous, but it gives a lot of information in terms of technical details. Have some software that when you design it, you have your hardware design for this. So, these days are young designers, yes. Uh, they result in use of software, yeah, yeah. Now, most all the design, our designs are done with software, so also you can check our designs as well. To mm -hmm. use, <laughs> that was why I started okay. by asking whether you have something. Softwares so that, that we do. Oh. You know, you are designing and then you plug it, you select it, and then you do the compare. Yeah, that you are going to use. Yeah, for us actually, we 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 use softwares. We use latest softwares and design softwares for our own designs and production uh, processes, but not uh, because we are not. Uh, you know, we are also patronizing the vendors of those um, softwares. You know, it's not our product. They are not our products. Only use them to improve our own processes. So we are able to use them to enhance our design, but we don't like, you know, it's not part of our offering. No, I mean, yeah, I'm not clear, but probably from what I understand, in, in whatever you're doing, you're supposed to have like an add on, like a template, a set of templates that engineers can use to help. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. So if you go through our technical manual, it will guide you, you know, to guide you on a lot of things like optimum column spacing using the high strength steel, you know, so that you can move away from your 5.5 meters spacing, six meters, you know. So if you look at how this thing, you will get, you know, it, there's a lot to, to gain from it. You know? So it guides you to, uh, to understand better as engineers because. Looking at the parameters of each component, you see how it differs from our conventional systems. You see yeah, how you can take advantage of it. Thank you very much. There is, a question. There is one question in all right. Um, we before, have before we go on to that one, I just want to make okay. one small announcement here. Um, hopefully, on the 7th of September. We will be very glad to invite you here again. We have the GHIE in collaboration with TRA, Ghana Revenue Authority. I hope, I hope we are all interested in that. We we'll present an afternoon session for all you know, need to know all of our tax audits. And we see they are going round, round, round. Here. And then double taxation. After we, we hold your tax, and you are paying somebody, you must hold the tax again. If not, we'll take it from you. We are bringing them here. Come and explain to us. We have to ask them questions. The use of the GRA portal, and many, many other questions. The 7th of September, that will be coming on. So we're going to come to give them this. Okay. I want to find out um, in terms of responsibility, um, clarify this for me. Does it end? After you supply the products, or it extends to um, when the local installers are done, because you are where design can be in the design failure can be in the design stage or the installation stage. Yeah, very good question. So our responsibility: we design, we fabricate, we supply, and we also we supervise the installation. We ensure that the rights construction direction procedures are followed. You know, we make sure that you start from the right frame, uh, from the correct uh, uh, frame and move, check the alignment of the building up to a final construction and handover. So we have our engineers, we have our uh, project engineers also here. So who is working with our contractor partners also to make sure that the our uh, the right procedures are followed, and we ensure that the buildings are installed the right way or opted 
complete handover. So we don't just uh, design and supply the building and hand -sew. So even after installation, yeah. if you need support, we are still there. So that is why we try to increase our presence, you know, uh, around the world. Currently, we are in about over 70 uh, locations physically. Okay, this question is from Engineer Prince, that's Avo3. Do you have floor systems that is galvanized decks or galvanized pre crochet decks, which can serve as embedment systems for lightweight concrete, timber, etc.? Yeah, yes. So we have our mesonite systems. So if you want it to be, if you want the finish to be galvanized, definitely. As in, by default, our, our, our code forms uh, sections are governized, which you use as the joists. So most of the times our joists are code form sections, which are governized 275 grams per square meters. So if it's for heavier loads, which we, we need to go for our built up sections. So we can also governize those sections as well. So these are things that we, we, we offer. Thank you very much um, for the question and answers. Anyway, the meeting with the GRE will be 4 p.m. Yeah, 4 p.m. Yeah, okay, on the 7th of September. Thank you very much, Kerry, for coming and all your submissions. Um, please, all those, especially those on, in Zoom, on Zoom who have extra questions, you may look on the... Um, uh, Zoom platform, there is a link that you can channel your questions through to. And then those here too, thank you very much for your time coming. And thank you very much. Uh, you know, there, please can you give us our consumer remark. All right, thank you. I'm sure there are either some or a few more questions. Maybe I would like to, we are closing, but the uh, Engineer, so I just send this quickly. They said, do you also consider composite sections, especially especially in areas along the coast, or they just do the BEB steel structures? It says that, do you also consider composite sections, especially in areas along the coast, or they just do the PEB steel structures? No, actually what we do is the PEB steel structures. So you're talking about uh, encasing it, you know, after encasing the steel with concrete, it can also be done. It can also be done. So, but this has to be done by a civil contractor. So, but we have, we have to consider it in the design if it is required, if you actually require uh, uh, to encase it due to corros corrosion. But otherwise we have projects you know, that are in the sea, and we have pro uh, provided the rights protection for the steel, and it's not going to corrode. So most of the times, for very toxic, uh, maybe C class four corrosivity, we galvanize the structure. They are fully hot decarbonized. So if it's about corrosivity, but if you want to encase it with concrete again, it means that in addition to the steel supply, you have to consider additional concrete works. All right, so thank you very much. And uh, colleagues here, we are also, in fact, I'm standing for the civil chair. <laughs> we are also grateful for coming here to listen to our friends. Maybe I'm sure they are here, they have their, they've given out their business contacts, right? So if you need further information, please call them. Then we'll attend to you. And also those online. I don't know if you can. Is there a way you can screenshot one of their cards online? Sorry, you've done that. All right, so they can also get it. So that anytime they want to get in touch with you, they can do it. We are grateful. Let's also save a date for the GRA meeting. In fact, I'm, I, people have come that they really want to be here. It appears everybody is so much annoyed with GRA. They see, yes, because they don't understand what we do. They think when an engineer charges, 
100,000 cities for a project. That 100,000 is his income. So they will want to take your 7.5% or your percent on that. So let's pick a date. What's the date again? 7th September. 7th September, please. So let's do that. And I'm sure 4 p.m. 4 p.m. And I'm sure very soon to greater care elections will be coming. And I'm sure probably by the next month or so, greater Accra elections will be coming so that we can get the greater Accra chairperson uh, for us to have DHI activity in the greater Accra. So let's save a date for that. Thank you very much. And God bless us all for coming. Yes, one says something. We had a question for the Colatex. Colatex, okay. It's a question for Colatex. Colatex. Yes. Before the person comes, we want to say that after everything, there's small sort of refreshment at the back for those who may be going. Those online, they are not enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yes, uh, Sorry, Sorry. In, in our environment, we've been having some uh, problems. I think this. this you know, more for the athletes, but we've also seen we've been having problems with uh, finishes on a local board, things like a local board, you know, that are applied to buildings. And do you have in either the color will be fading or peeling off, or, you know, that sort of thing? Do you have any solution? Such for a local bond, a local bond is, uh, or you mean for anything that is outdoor for cladding, you know, uh, building. okay. We we have we have coatings yeah, for outdoor, metallic. Metallic. and um, uh, as for cementitious, uh, this is you know, a particular challenge, this is a particular challenge. You know, because it's still uh, either one have to take it all off. I suppose uh, that is the intent of developing that. Or if you still want to preserve it, you probably have to go through processes like uh, those that are used for uh, spraying vehicles and those things. Whether you have any such thing that can solve such problems. Uh, this is too much technical for me, <laughs> but what I will suggest is that you visit us in our showroom. We have a technical team that can take you through all this and explain further. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you very much. Yapong, 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 bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.